Yo, 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 what's happening, people? Um, it's been a while, but I'm here with another video, little tutorial, and I'm going to show you guys how you're able to connect up all of your MIDI devices, all of them, to your iPad. You're going to need three things, right, to be able to do this. You'll need a USB C hub for iPad. You're going to need a powered USB hub. I'll pick that up in a second. And then you're going to need an audio interface. Um, this is actually a mixer, but it's got a built in audio interface as well. Okay. So I'm going to walk you through the basic steps. It all looks really confusing. Um, but the really important thing that you're going to need to make this work is the USB hub because that allows you to then connect multiple devices all to your iPad. Okay. Right. So, what we're going to do is going to just turn that off a second right so it all starts off with this little guy here this is a USB-C hub right so we've got that and then we've got a USB a powered USB hub it's really important that it's powered because it's just got so much power to, to distribute around to various devices. It really needs that, that additional boost of power. So your powered USB hub will come with two plugs. One, two wires rather. One is just going straight into the power supply. And then the other is, I'll find the end of it. Bear with me one second. Okay, so this is what you get on the end of this powered USB hub, okay? This will then go into the end of here, okay? So I'm just plug that in. Uh, okay, so you've got that now, okay? So, powered USB, the wire that comes with it comes right out and goes in to here, okay? You then simply plug that into your iPad. All right, so now you've got a USB hub plugged in to your iPad, okay? So that's step one. The good thing about this USB hub is that it's got a charging port on there and an aux, so I can keep my iPad charged while I'm working. So, sorry, ah, really hard to do with one hand. Okay. So that goes in like that, forgive me. The next step, it's really easy. So now, all we need to do is plug our USB devices into the USB hub. USB devices being my MIDI keyboard, my launch pad, this, and whatever other USB devices, in which case I've got my hard drive. Um, so yeah. So, right, let's put that back in there. Okay, my next step is out of my USB interface or my mixer, I've got a USB in the back of here. I simply plug it into my powered USB. I also plug this right in the orange lead to my USB hub. I've got this keyboard as well. That's got a wire 
and they've got it running under the carpet through into here as well really really easy and then i simply switch on my interface okay and you should most of the time get sound automatically like i have in this case but if you don't sometimes you've got to go oh I also, some of you may be wondering why I've got the big screen and using just the small screen. So I actually normally use my big screen for my tower, but I can go HDMI out of there and into the screen, but I've actually broken my screen. Long story, don't need to get into it. But anyway, I digress. So, as you see, I've got sound. My launch pad. So, sometimes you don't get sound, so what you may need to do, so in this case I've got Ravenscroft open, sometimes you might just need to go to audio, active MIDI inputs, master key 61, which is this keyboard, my launch pad mini, as you can see, there is also that, and then my key station, which is DM audio back here. Sometimes those aren't ticked and you've just got to tick those manually, but in which case this is already done. So really, really, really easy. Really easy. Um, it's, it's not hard at all. Um, it always seems complex, but I'll leave links for all of the gear that I use. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's um, a really simple, simple way uh, of doing things. So your key things are, you need a USB-C hub for iPad. You need a powered USB hub, a powered USB hub. And then you've got your audio interface. So what happens with my audio interface is, is I've got my monitors connected to the interface. And then my interface, USB into the USB hub. USB hub plugged into the iPad. Powered USB hub into the iPad. So all of my devices, which are plugged into here, will then work here. As you can see, my my hard drive is there. So if I go, all right, if I go to my files, I should see, there it is. Seagate expansion drive, and I've got all of my folders there. All right. Um, that's it really. Uh, if any other questions, just leave me a comment. Um, if you need any other help, just, yeah, just drop me a message, drop me a comment. I'm here always. Peace.